YouTube, it's Brian Phillips. Look at this, we've got the Habu SS. We're gonna fly today on 2200. It's an EDF. It's a great first EDF, big thick wing. This thing is a good plane if you're learning to fly. It has safe and AS3X, which means it's got stabilization and auto leveling if you choose to use it. And you can fly this on 1300 3S or 2200 3S. I recommend the smart packs because then you have voltage telemetry coming back to your transmitter. NX8 is great. You don't need the eight to do this plane, but I would highly suggest if you're getting hooked, get an eight to a 10 somewhere in there. Anything less, you're gonna regret it quicker than you probably realize as you get more and more entrained into this hobby. You'll notice we have the gear pulled off. This one takes a singular tool. You have to undo one set screw and then pull it out. These ones just pop off with pressure and we're gonna fly today without because it's super fun to fly without. That being said, look at the beautiful surroundings we have today, it's super cool. So we're gonna fly right now without further ado. I'm gonna check, I'm gonna put safe on and see if it's working. Here's how you can tell. And I'm putting safe on so I can do this. Okay, full throttle. So I can do that guys, I didn't even touch it. Okay, now. I'm gonna get my sunglasses on so Mother Nature doesn't blind me. Thank you, Mother Nature. And here we go. So we're gonna go ahead and bring it around. I feel like I got just a little bit of trimming issues to deal with because we haven't flown this one for a little bit. When I get out of the throttle, I feel like we are definitely really pushing the nose up. So I'm just gonna trim it. Okay, that feels pretty. Okay. And going up. Now this is a very good beginner aircraft. If you're looking for something you can fly on 3S, a lot cheaper to fly than 6S. And if you know the big brother of the Habu 50 is the Habu 70. And then there's the Habu and that's the SS. That's gonna be a four or 6S, meaning you go really fast with it. But then they also have the Habu STS, which is a safe trainer. And so it just happens to be a 70 millimeter EDF. So this is a 50, so it's a little bit smaller. If you're not familiar with the metric system, they size these jets in metric and the size of the EDF, which is the electric ducted fan. So basically, instead of sizing them by the wingspan, like they do in most other aircraft, this one here is about 850 millimeters, maybe 800 millimeters. Is that right? Maybe it's even less than that. It might be closer, like 600. Whoops. But the idea is when you get something that's smaller, it's going to generate a little lower demand for electrical energy. So you can get away with a smaller battery, a 3S, meaning three cells in series, and then you can fly it, but you can still do all the cool, fun things that you wanna do with the bigger jets. And I gotta say, guys, when you get a jet and you wanna fly it so you can see and enjoy it, that's one thing that goes largely unnoticed in the hobby is I want the fastest, coolest, most incredible jet. And don't get me wrong, there's some high energy reasons to do that and I definitely agree, but when you're a beginner and you need something to teach you how to fly an EDF, this is a great choice. And I like this choice even better than the 70 in either the SS or the STS, meaning STS trainer, which is red and white, and it flies on three or four S still, just like similar to this one, but it's slower and a little bit bigger. If you go to the SS, which is yellow and white, it's gonna be way faster, but you still get the benefit of thrust reverse, AS3X and safe. And so I just think that this one here, let's show you some thrust reverse if I can get lined up right. There's full thrust reverse <laughs> while flying. I don't know if you guys can see me slow down like crazy. Of course, if you slow down too much, you're gonna fall out of the sky. So actually, let's do that. Let's go way up here by the clouds. Let's see if we can get it to fall. That's stress reverse, watch it fall. <laughs> that is incredible, it just keeps flying. So I gotta say, with even a little bit of wind to spare today, 
this plane is flying just fine. And I'm gonna trade spots. Camera crew, if you wanna kinda come behind me and go to my right side for me just a sec. Perfect, thank you for working that out. I'm gonna bring it around and just do a pseudo landing onto the main strip here. Okay, full landing, full. That's our pilot fatigue mode. And we're down, that's incredible how quick you can land this yeah. thing. I still think I could probably catch this plane, but I don't know if I wanna do it while we're filming and then look like a fool. I mean, what's new? <laughs> but yeah, so this is, this is basically what you get in a small, tight and easy to fly package. Amazing fun, definitely worth checking out guys. Thanks for supporting us here on Brian Phillips RC. Oh, camera crew, if you don't mind holding that for just a sec. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just go over to my telemetry screen to show you. We went by timer today, we're about a minute over. But as you can see, we're dead. Mm -hmm. Now, full disclosure, I used an old, admittedly puffy 2200 3S, and the reason I did that is because it was the only one charged. So, if you want better performance, put a brand new battery in there, you can probably fly it for literally twice as long. I'm not exaggerating, guys. You can take my word for it. That being said, love this plane, super fun. I feel like it does better than the SS and better than the STS. Sorry, Horizon. It's the best fit and it's the cheapest. So that being said, you can throw those landing gear in there and you can get every little bit of joy that you can get out of a very low investment. And if you're just trying to learn to fly, you don't need a landing aid sensor. I'm sorry again, Horizon. I don't think it's helpful. I don't think it's necessary. And if you've used them and they were helpful to you, please don't take that the wrong way. I know it's gonna be helpful for somebody, but in my opinion, it's not maybe the best fit. Learn to land. Safe is super helpful in landing. Safe is super helpful in flying. But landing aid sensors take it to the next level. You're letting the system fly. So I prefer to learn to fly and maybe just risk it a little bit on landings and takeoffs because believe me, nothing gets the heart pumping like the possibility of huge, embarrassing mistakes. <laughs> so that being said, guys, NX-8 is great. Habu 50 is amazing. Love this thing. Yes, I'm wearing nitro gloves because it's cold. Don't make fun of me too much. Although if you are and you enjoyed making fun of me, smash the like button because we love doing this for you here on Brian Phillips RC. If you want to help support us financially, three ways. One, obviously watch the videos. That's number four. Number one, buy these planes when you like them. Buy them from the links in the video description below. We make small commissions, buy the batteries. Buy the receivers if equipped. This one's a bind and fly, so it comes with that stuff. Buy the transmitter, buy the batteries, these type of things that we recommend. If you don't like this particular plane, don't buy this. Buy the one you do like. And if you don't see it today, look down a little bit further in the description. There'll be other choices. Say, Brian, I really want an F-15. Find the F-15 on the list, check it out. I really want an F-16. Find it, check it out, pick which one you like. If you have questions, leave them in the comments. We'll do our best to get back to you. If you are a Patreon, you may get my ear a little bit easier because it's just so hard to keep up with the general comments we've been trying for years and doing a pretty good job of it. And then till recently in the last year or so, last six months, let's call it, I have literally had to stop getting caught up. And I, I, it pains me because I know I'm leaving you guys high and dry sometimes and I try my best to answer comments as much as possible, but I just, I, I physically can't do it. So what I'm gonna do is Patreons, if you want to be there, we, we will not announce a formal um, agreement. Benefit. We are a benefit. Because then if you're overseas, you have to pay taxes for it, which is just ridiculous and I hate taxes. But anyway, I digress. NX-8 is awesome. Habu 50 is a great plane. It is not the best, fastest, cheapest, smallest, yellowest, orangest, whitest, blackest. We don't do that here on Brian Phillips RC. We tell you the whole truth, nothing about the truth, so help us God. And we try our best to help you understand when our opinion is an opinion, and fact is fact, like this is in fact a 50 millimeter EDF ducted fan, and this is in fact a 2200 3S that's puffed. And it is a smart battery, yes, that's right. But at the end of the day, your opinion matters more than mine. We just wanna show you our experience, and we love these things. So, check it out, get one for yourself you'll enjoy it. Don't forget to smash the like button on the way out. Click the bell for notifications and subscribe if you haven't already. We'll be back with more very soon.